Ladies and gentlemen, this is our super fight in the super middleweight division. It has a 77 kg weight limit. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He enters the ring wearing blue trunks with silver trim, weighing in at 77 kgs even. Representing elite Thai kickboxing north. Give it up for Billy Walker! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, enters the ring wearing black trunks with red and yellow trim, weighing in at 76.3 kgs, representing City League R. This is Alex Renhead! <laughs> Fighters to the center ring, please, for the referee, Rebel John Conway's instructions. All right, guys. First of all, you both must be able to protect yourselves at all times to listen to my instructions. Obey my instructions when I call break. Stop throwing and step away from each other before I say fight. Shake them up. All the best. All right. Intriguing Roger. battle in front of us. Billy Walker, very talented fighter. Tall and rangy at super middle. Good kick up. Knows how to put combinations together. Alex Redman, more experienced. Ready. Ready, come on! But uh, we've seen before in King in the Ring that counts for little. Billy Walker trying to walk in and immediately establish the clinch. This is three two minute rounds. Nice little dump there from Alex Redman. Nice style catch, good work and combination work from Redmond. But you can see Walker is trying to establish the clinch. Both similar plans, landing good cap kicks on the outside, tying up and uh, trying to trying to get their knees off in the inside, which is limited under the King of the Ring uh, rules. It's uh, one one hand one grapple so it's uh, very limited and you'll see the ref break them up uh, quite soon well plenty of jousting going on in the clinch there Alex Redman looks like he has better hands when he lets them go he's a bit more precise with where he's throwing his techniques you see now he's starting to get Billy Walker to buy into his fakes. Walker. There's a change-up kick there from Billy Walker going high. Redmond holding on to the... Just uh, getting behind him there. He'll get cautioned by that. Walker's range and unorthodoxy just creating a couple of problems for... Redman, as he goes with the double unders, he's got a, an unorthodox pace, Dan, and that sort of offbeat rhythm can catch you. Yeah, both fighters are throwing good kicks to either the body or the head. I'd like either of them to start digging them a bit low and getting a reaction from their opponent. Uh, going for that power head kick early, uh, it's quite hard to land it clean as the opponent's guard's still quite high. So I'd like them to invest in the leg, get their opponent's guard down, and then once they've got a reaction, go high. It drops a lot, okay? Bring your left kick straight up. As soon as I yelled out left high, he went like this. Yeah, I know this. But it means he's got a habit of dropping it. But there's not enough bad intent in it. Yep. Stay long. Stay long. Yeah. Remember what I said, you pick it up over the course of the fight. Get busier and busier, okay? So next round stronger, more, more work. Plenty of calmness in both corners. The crowd buoyed by the prospect of the Nato Laoli Carlos Allberg final coming up. Billy Walker's been instructed to look for the high kick. Redmond's coming on strong there. Almost uh, 
uh, you can't quite say it's a cheap shot, but it was right on cue. Greenman looking for the two-handed clinch there, and now tying it up, looking for the jump. King of the ring rules, so you can only throw the one knee with the two hands. There's a low kick again. Cracked him behind the knee, Billy Walker. I think he's done some tendon damage. This fight does not Three, look set long. Four, Walker can't five, continue. Six, seven. He's eight, definitely done something to either one of the ligaments, so that doesn't seem to me like muscle damage or an accumulation of low kicks. He seems to have just caught something at the wrong angle. Now that he's got the leg hurt, he's choosing to go high. But that injury's still there, and that's going to take a toll. Yeah, you can see he's really struggling. It's only going to take a single kick to that. And again, he went to the outside leg. Good decision there by John the Rebel Conway. The leg has been damaged. Ligament damage, no doubt. Caught him on a funny angle with the low kick. Crashed the leg. Billy Walker couldn't recover. Well, we'll just await the formalities, but a short night at the office for Alex Redman and what was looking to be a pretty intriguing fight. And uh, Billy Walker will need to find his way back to the doctor and get that leg straightened out and treated. Let's have a look at this. That was the final part of the fight. But uh, the leg damage was already done by an earlier low kick. Alex Redman just doubled up on that. And Billy Walker couldn't sustain the damage. And uh, that is why leg kicks can be Ladies so and devastating. Please. Ladies and gentlemen, with one minute and five seconds gone in the second round, the Rebel John Conway calls a stop to this contest for your winner by TKO, putting under the red corner, Alex Redhead!